fine. You're good. And then those bottom sockets, they tend to get packed down with food. And so I've given him a curve tip syringe in here. And after five days, he can fill that up with some warm salt water. And he can start irrigating those areas out. I'm um, sorry, in five days? In five days, it's yes. It's packed, right? You have a, do you have the cavity that's packed with the scars? There, no, there's no cavities. They're just, pine. they're holes where the wisdom teeth were. Right. So. Right. So they're Good literally right just sockets. Oh, they're holes. They, what they do is they fill in with Bite down on your... From the bottom up. So it may take a while for those sockets right. to My fill question in. was, do you have them packed with gauze right now that needs to stay I mean, in? he's biting down on gauze. But once the bleeding stops, I mean, he doesn't have to bite down anymore. So they're, they'll literally be holes, and it, they just take a while to fill up. So that's what I'm saying. We want him to um, just keep those areas really clean. So um, he can, um, after five days, he can start using that syringe um, to just rinse those areas out. Just keep them super clean, but wait five days before he uses Could it. You How long okay. does he have to keep the gauze? Just until he stops bleeding. Okay. Okay. Um, but be careful just to use it only once a day because as long as he keeps using that syringe, he'll just keep those holes open longer. So use it only once a day, kind of at night time before he, like while he's brushing his teeth, just rinse that area out. Can you just like swish, you put water in, just swish around, does that help? Or? Just literally put it down there and just, oh. you know, rinse it out, oh. just irrigate it out. Um, Why not it's for five days? So. Just because we want that area to heal first, okay? If you wash um, it out, you could clean out the scab tissue you and can all that. Be, yeah. you, you can loosen up that blood clot yeah. and that can cause a dry socket. So we want that area to heal first. Okay, so um, before that, before that, that five days, if you want to, um, after every meal, you can just rinse with some warm salt water first. After every meal, just to keep those areas clean, he can do that. But not today, wait till tomorrow before he starts you know, rinsing and that kind of thing, and not too vigorously. And like I said, um, just let him lean over the sink and just let it fall out of his mouth instead of spitting. You know, can no, he brush the rest of his tooth? Um, he can start normal dental routine tomorrow. Just be very gentle in those areas and that kind of thing. And like I said, no spitting. You know, just let him lean over the sink and that kind of thing. Okay? Um, mm -hmm. um, so no straws, no spitting. Uh -uh. It's okay. I've got it in there. It has a memory. And you have great vitals. So it's not on. It's okay. It, it has a memory and I saw what it was. What was it? It's right here. So you're good to go. All right, do you have any other questions? Eight, four, five. Okay. Uh, uh, pulse? Your pulse is 65. So what is it for? Your blood pressure is oh. 143 over 84. What, what is that? Uh, what does that mean? Normal blood pressure, like median, is 120 over 80. So, um, you're good. But that's 143 over 81. So you're good. But, wait. It's probably high a little just from the stress right. of the surgery. You're okay. So you're okay. Yeah. 